Oh, I almost fell off my chair when I saw this one. The best possible version of GTA 6 could cost you over $600. Getting the superior version of GTA 6 could still cost you more than half a grand. And that's all because of the PlayStation 5 Pro. PlayStation sucks. Okay, now, just for a little bit of context, this PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 5 Pro, might be the reason why this game is going to be so expensive. But I just, my question here is, what do these guys think we're made of? Like, how much do they think everyone, the average player is making? Because that's, because that's who's buying your games, right? That's who's making you the money. That's who's actually getting you the money that you deserve when it comes to making these games, right? And so half a grand, $500, $600, where do you get off charging that? I mean, over time, if you're doing some kind of subscription, you're going to be paying that anyway, right? But it's like when the game comes out and you're charging $500 plus for the game, then 600 or not 600 but 100 or 200 or 50 whatever dollars for add-ons, right? Where are we getting this money from? Who Who is... Who, who out there is supporting this? I, I guess maybe the Star Citizens people are supporting this. But at the same time, it's like, I like GTA. I liked G GTA a lot. I played San Andreas. I played, I played 4. And I also played 5, right? Yeah, 5. So I, I lost track of them at, at this point. There's, there's so many GTAs. But I played a lot of GTA, right? And I'm like, how could this get any more insane? And then I saw this video. And I was like, oh... That's okay. I'll just I'll just put up my life savings for like a car in GTA, or actually no, I'll put up my life savings for the game itself, and then I'll have to put up like my car payment for for you know the car in the game or this new Batman Batmobile car in the game. I'm just saying that it's it's just wild to think about for a second that <laughs> how how are we gonna afford gaming and like eating there's no way that we're gonna be able to afford to eat when gaming is is gonna be you know minimum like entry level over a thousand dollars for one game and a console well if you want to be on pc that's like a minimum two thousand five hundred plus dollars as a minimum entry to play isn't that insane